All right, today I thought I would take you out to look at some trees and talk about how you can learn to identify trees by looking at tree bark. So this is a red oak tree and uh, red oak has really nice bark. Some of the things that I'm looking for here, are like these, these white splotches that kind of get on the bark, I often use that as an indicator. Another thing that you'll notice is these lines that go down here and that's a, that's a pretty significant difference in this tree compared to other trees like the maples uh, they have that kind of um, flaky bark whereas this is more ridged. I think the way that that I really learned to look at bark was just by going around and, and I, I had like a week where I basically went out every day and I just spent time looking at bark and uh, I think just doing it repeatedly over a period of time you start to get used to the patterns here we have the bark of a younger fir tree and uh, it's not super young, like it's not a sapling, but it's also not an old growth tree um, by any means. And one of the things that I look for on these ones, um, this is a coniferous tree and it has all this moss growing on it. And so um, some trees will get a lot of moss growing on them and other trees won't. And that's one of the things that you can really look for and tune into as you're learning the different species all right, now here's a good example of a young birch tree. And uh, one of the things that I look for with these guys, they have these little horizontal lines. They're, they're kind of small, um, but they're, they're all over the place. And uh, that's pretty characteristic of this kind of tree. When you look at trees, you always want to use all your senses. So it's, it's not about just looking at the bark and trying to notice things about the color or the shading. Um, and, and you'll get much more out of the experience if you actually take your hands and rub your hands along the, the crevices and, and just feel the texture. And uh, it, it kind of, it sticks in the brain better when you do that. I mean, I even do things where I'll like take a little piece of the tree, I'll scratch it a little bit and I'll smell it. And because the, the scent part of your brain is very closely associated with memory. And if you have more of a full sensory experience when you're out in the field, looking at trees, um, you'll just get a, a better experience there. Um, I'm just noticing something really cool. A lot of the branches on this tree have been stripped of the bark. There's been some sort of animal chewing on the bark here. It even goes like all the way up here. What we're looking at here is an ash tree. And I don't have many ash trees in this area, but um, it's got kind of a cool bark. I think the main thing when it comes to learning the bark of your area is just to get started and, and try things out. You know, it might take you a little while to learn some of it. Some of the things might come really quickly to you. And, uh, you know, it's not really about learning it all in a day. It's more about just being out there and having the intention to learn and continuing to explore and trying stuff out, see how it goes. Uh, obviously, you know, the place where you live probably has different tree species than what I just showed you here. But the principles are the same, you know, you want to look at the texture, you want to look at lines flowing down the, uh, flowing down the trunk, you want to look at moss, you want to look at any of those little splotches of color, um, any little characteristic that can help you start to narrow down your choices and, and lump trees into categories. You know, even if you don't know the name of a tree starting out, you can see that certain trees fall into a similar category. There's, there's trees with smooth bark, there's trees with rough bark, there's trees with bark that have really thick ridges, and there's trees that have, you know, no ridges at all. And you just look for that kind of stuff, and over time it starts to come together, and uh, you start to figure out how it all works. Don't you drive 